your limitation cannot stop you. You can only stop yourself if you believe God. And if you know that God can do all things, I am sure all your dreams, all your aspirations will come to pass. everyone. Good morning. My name is Olatunde Oladipopo and I want to give God all the glory, all the adoration and for thanking the church for giving me the privilege to share my testimony with every one of you. Before I start, I would like to take you back. In 2009, I had an accident, a motorbike accident. And the rider of the motorbike actually lost his life. I only survived. I was in coma for like two days, but I came back to life and then I was under medication. I never knew I had a problem until after like two months, I realized that I can only see with one eye. At this time, I was in my second year in the university, a bright boy trying to take over the world. But then I have one high. I try everything humanly possible to solve the problem, but I could not. And since then, 2009, I have been using one high. But despite that, God was with me. He never left me. I finished well. I graduated the best in my class. And life was good. I actually wanted to study for my master's. But then I, I wanted scholarship, so okay. I said, let me try some, some countries. I, I didn't get them then. So I decided to start my master's back then in Nigeria. I finished my master's with one high, the best in my class. After I finished, I told myself, I cannot study again in Nigeria, I am done. And I said, okay, it's time for me to go forward. As a young child, I always wanted to go to US, Canada, and um, all those big countries. I wrote a lot of mails, a lot of messages, but none was replied to. I was almost depressed until when a friend of mine told me about Thailand. He said, Tipo, you should try Thailand. There's a, there's a scholarship in Thailand. I was like, really? Scholarship, Thailand. Okay, let's give it a shot. So I wrote to a professor in Thailand, which is my professor, and he replied to me, and that's it. After a while, I started processing my documents, and I came to Thailand. Although the journey has been a roller coaster ever since, there are ups, there are down, but God kept me. Even doing my visa processing, it has been very difficult, or it was very difficult, but then but God kept me. After everything, when I resumed, you know, first time living in Nigeria, I'm seeing all these white people, Indians and everything. I was like, wow. And I know Indians to be very, very brilliant. So I'm scared. I'm like, there's no how I will come here and still expect me to be the best among these people because I know Indians to be very brilliant. So I said, oh, I just want to be an average student. I just want to pass. Because definitely you, you will agree with me that Indians are brilliant. So. Then I just felt like, okay, let me just keep doing my thing. A local champion from Nigeria coming to Thailand, you know? And yeah, I started, my first semester was awesome. I topped everybody. I was like, everybody was like, wow, this black guy. I'm like, you don't know, you don't know black power. <laughs> That's just for fun. So yeah, that was how the journey started. My first semester, I cleared all my exams. I finished my qualifying examinations and um, I did my proposal. It was wonderful. And it has been, it has been like, I cannot just explain the faithfulness of God from that point. My journey has been from one success to the other. Normally, if you want to graduate in PSU, you need two publications. To the glory of God, I have 17 publications. I also co author about six papers and two book chapters, making a total of over 25 papers doing this PhD. 
in the course of three years. Yeah, in this um, PH, um, PSU, you need to have, um, you need to go for a conference. I went to two conferences. I went to a conference in Indonesia. I also was opportune to finally go to the US for another conference. And everything was paid, right, for my ticket, my registration, my accommodation. And I was staying in a five-star hotel there, as in I enjoyed myself. It was a very wonderful time. All this and many more was just happening every day. And I'm looking like, the only person that could have done this for me is God. No other person can do this. God remained God in my life. He never left me. He never forsaked me. He was with me. He gave me a mouth and a wisdom. A program that's supposed to take three years. In less than two and a half years, I have everything I need to graduate. In fact, they were literally begging me to graduate and leave. Like, you, you already passed, you already finished everything. What are you waiting for? Two and a half years. So I, I, okay, I decided to wrap up my thesis and then do my defense. On May 27th this year, to the glory of God, even though there is this COVID up and down, but God was faithful. I defended my thesis. It was a wonderful experience. God was with me. The way my thesis, my thesis is so big that I thought I would spend like five hours or six hours. But God just gave me wisdom, gave me favor in the sight of all my examiner. And everybody just said, oh, you don't need to, we don't need to waste time with you because your thesis is almost perfect. We just, we just want you to come and tell us what you have done and then just go. And that's how it is. In less than two hours, I finished my, my thesis, exam, um, thesis defense and I was awarded a PhD. To the glory of God, you can call me Dr. Olatunde Oladipupo Odwayo. All glory to God. All glory to God Almighty. I want to give God all the glory for giving me the opportunity to be a member of this church. When I came here, I told myself, I just want to be simple. I don't want, I don't want, I just want to go to church and then, you know, just go back. But then I, I now became a member of PPA ICF and I find myself involved in so many things, you know, trying to we go to fellowship every Thursday, the relationship with people, the church itself. The church is a home, outside home. It's my family. This family is my family outside Nigeria. Without any discrimination, they there's this kind of love they share for everybody. We are all equal here. And I'm privileged to be a member of this church. I want to give God all the glory for, the, for some few people, not all, I cannot mention all, because if I decide to mention all, I'm going to spend the whole day here. But I want to thank God for our pastor, Pastor O, he has been a brother, a friend. I want to thank God for P and P Gov for their constant support every time. I want to thank God for the other ICF family. Some of my friends doing my defense, they bought me clothes, they bought me food. Some of them were praying for me. Some of them were calling me every day just to ensure that I'm in a good state of mind for the exam. I give God all the glory because if I'm, if I'm not a member of this church, I wouldn't have met all these wonderful people. There are so many other people I'd like to mention, but because of my time, I can just mention a few. This is my story. And this is one thing I want you to remember that your limitation cannot stop you. You can only stop yourself. I am partially blind, but right now I have a PhD, even with one eye. So what is your own reason for not, for not achieving your dreams? If you believe God, and if you know that God can do all things, I am sure all your dreams, all your aspirations will come to pass. Just believe in, believe in Him. I want to wrap up all my testimony with one song, with just one song, and I'll sing it once. You've been faithful, Lord, for the ages past. 
That is why your name is forevermore. God is faithful and he will continue to be faithful. Thank you very much. God bless you. Bye-bye. Coconut cup. -bye.